Hi, my name is Tiago Duarte and welcome to another video tutorial here at Daily Beats. In today's video, I'm going to make a trap beat. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to make a hard or a soft or a smooth rap trap beat. I just want to, I just, I, sorry, I know that I just want to do a trap beat, but I'm not sure where uh, that will uh, lead me to, uh, to, to the style, if I want a more aggressive or more soft trap beat. So I'm going to open up FL Studio, it's already open, and I'm going to make a trap beat and uh, let's see what I can come up with in this beat. And uh, if you are new here to this channel, please subscribe and activate the notification so that you know when we upload new videos. And uh, if you like this video, leave a like. And if you have any questions or suggestions, just leave a comment below and I will answer. And if you'd like to support us, consider buying one of our products at dailybeats.pt or becoming a, a premium or exclusive member and you will have access to uh, exclusive content, the project files from these tutorials and also all the sounds included with the project files. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start making this trap beat. So the first thing I'm going to do is to select a time. I want uh, 146 or 148. Let me go with 148. Let's go to dailybeats.pt. Let's open up drum kits, headbanging trap drums. And let's start with a kick. I like this one. Now let's select a snare. I like this one but I want to make it shorter, so I'm going to mess around with the envelope. Okay, something like this. Messing around here with the decay and also with tension. And let's go ahead and grab a hi-hat. Okay, I will leave the hi-hat for later. So. Okay, something like this. And would not be a trap beat without these back-to-back -back kicks. Okay, so let me select 808. Now I will leave the 808 for a later time. So one thing that I want to do is open up, um, what is the name of the Analog Lab 2. <clears throat> and this is the light version. So I don't have all the sounds, but I know there are some uh, quite nice uh, electric pianos here. So let's see where we have keys. Okay, I like this. So maybe it's going to be a, a smooth trap beat. So let's open up pattern two and let's start sending this stuff to the mixer. So this is kick. This is the snare. It's going to be the snare. It's not the, oh yes, it is. So this is the snare and this is electric piano, the piano. And the one, the insert one will be my mix. So I will select everything here and route to this track only so that I have all sounds going through channel one. Oops. Let's open up piano roll. like this movement of C minor, the C minor chord, this. Now I want to go down. Okay, let me go ahead and choose C4 so that I have more, I have lower, 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 
lower notes. Okay, I like this one here. select all the notes with control and uh, right click or left click on the mouse and you can select everything now let's hit shift and click and select the notes now with control and right click you will be able to zoom zoom everything let's go to the playlist and extend the pattern here we can move some things up mm, no so let's see let me make the selection so that we don't go over the the, the pattern <clears throat> breaks let me now alt R so as you can see here I'm clicking on alt and clicking on R and this will call the randomizer you can also call the randomizer here via this triangle which are the tools tools and go here to randomizer and one thing that I want if you are opening this randomizer for the first time it will do something like this this will create random nodes and with, it's not what I want. I just want to randomize the volume, the velocity of the, the notes. And just pick a value. As you can see, we can go very low. I like this, actually. Maybe some I will uh, lower them. So let me select this one and lower the, this one a little bit. And this one here is too low, uh, too too high. Oops. Let me select this one here, and now this one. Okay, I like this. This uh, melody is more, more. Uh, how can I say? The articulation is different because we are working with lower uh, velocities. So let me select this ones too here and bring them down. This one is too loud, this one too, and as you can see we have lower volume and also we have a more soft electric piano. So I'm going to increase here the, the, the volume so that I'm I have more control here so I don't have to increase the fader past 0 dBs. And let me go here to the master and call a limiter so that I can increase the volume of the, the beat so that we can listen better okay something like this sounds good so what I'm going to do now is open up a hi-hat
going to be a very simple hi-hat pattern I'm just going to do something like this Okay, let's bring this to the mixer And this is hi-hat And I'm going to, I want to move this hi-hat uh, Left to the e-piano To do that I can just simply click Alt And with the left arrow key on my keyboard and just do that and it will change switch the, um, the order of the, the mixer and I can do the same here for the channel rack but it's a different uh, combination of keys so I can click on shift and uh, roll down the mouse mouse wheel and you can see we now have everything in order this is a nice way for you to organize your projects too. So let's go ahead and bring it away. I want a very soft it away. Disable. So in this in this case, I can click when I leave uh, or when I de-click the 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 key here, the note will stop. As you can see, if I take off the envelope, you can see that I'm no longer clicking, and the sample goes until the end. So this is this is a way for you to have more control over your sa samples. So wait, wait. And let's copy the kick pattern and let's go here to the pattern with the um, <clears throat> with the electric piano and let's hit control V and now I can simply select everything and hit control L and this will elongate the notes here uh, and now what I want what I want to do is go down like this and it's going to be very simple and I'm going for now but I'm going to do some some modifications here so I just want to listen let me listen just here waiting the, the e-piano let me bring the 808 one octave higher Okay, so now what I want to do is uh, do some variations here in the in the bass. For instance, do something like this. Let's see if this sounds nice. So now let me see, maybe go to F. And maybe this one to F again. But maybe I can go in a lower F. So let's see. Maybe this one I will go to C sharp, or G sharp actually. bit of the 808 now maybe F is the best one here maybe I can do something like this and uh, let me see this one's here I'm going to do a slide so this is A sharp going to select a sharp also here but in a higher octave and I'm going to do slide note but no 
not all the way up so or the the full length of the note i just want the final part here so let's see okay one thing that i want to do is to cut a little bit of the apply a high pass to the e piano so that the 808 in the e piano do not conflict on the bass side now let me apply a little bit of reverb to the electric piano a little a lot <laughs> now let's go ahead and take out the mix from the master and let's apply a parallel or auxiliar reverb so this is going to be aux reverb and i'm going to use waves irl full stadium and i'm going to use it the plate preset which gives me a nice plate and i'm going to apply a high pass filter with fidelity eq Okay, something like this and now we have a, a reverb on all the, the, the how can I say this hmm. let me try to find a nice way to do to say this so our ears are accustomed to reverb and um, all play all, all physical spaces have hit reverb so what I'm doing here is I'm applying a reverb to all the sounds of our beat and this makes the beat more feel more natural to our ear so I can disable it and you will see the difference you see that the sounds are very dry very uh, very dry actually and when we applied uh, auxiliary reverb feel that we are more in a room so it's feel it feels it feels more natural the beat okay what else can I apply here let me try maybe a, some strings yeah let me try some strings first I was thinking maybe a saxophone because this is a very mellow mellow melody so but I will like maybe the strings first and then I will see if the saxophone will fit nicely here on the beat so we have sustain violin staccato pizzicato be a very aggressive but in this case I think it feels it fits really nice here let me apply some panning to the e piano and as you can see here the panning of the pizzicato is more on the right side or on the left side so I apply the e piano more to the right side so this is pizzicato same sequence okay I just want these notes here let me lower them a little bit and now let's see what I can come up with here what kind of variation can I do? It's too much. So I like this 
and I'm going to select everything and copy and put it down here. So as you can see now, we don't have C sharp uh, in our scale. So I'm going to, I selected everything and bring it, bring it down a little bit. This one here, I want it different, maybe on a G4. And also here, I want to move up instead of moving down. And I want to apply reverb. And I want, I want a lot of wet signal. very well so let me reset this let me apply a, a low cut I want it very low also let me see if this yeah it has articulations also so I'm going to select everything and click alt and scroll down the mouse wheel and you can see that we are now lowering the volume but you can do that only here in the piano roll. If you go to this side here, you will not be able to do that. So only in this section. And you can now... Okay, it's more su subtle, more, more uh, smooth. So now let's go ahead and... Uh, name everything so this is a piano this is 808 so let me go ahead and call this 808 this is pizzicato and now let's open up some um, some um, saxophone and let's go to brass alto sax or sax distribution maybe This is saxophone and I want it more on lower lower notes. Okay, more like this. Bring it down in volume a little bit. Let's rename this sax. Let's bring this to the mix. And let's make some some notes I'm going to make it very very elongated also I'm going to lower the pitch the vol the velocity I don't know why I keep calling it pitch let me elongate a lot so maybe do something like this the velocity of this one G4, G4 because it's very very low okay so maybe something like this and one thing that I want to do is apply some kind of uh, vibrato vibrato and uh, to do that I'm going to use 
some uh, internal controller from FL Studio. And I'm going to use Fruity Formula Controller. And in this, I'm going to select the basic sign LFO. And as you can see, when we play uh, or when we, we play our project, we can see the frequency of the oscill uh, oscillation. And I'm going to here and apply 20. And I'm going to have a very fast uh, frequency here. Now I'm going to decrease the, the range and also apply a little bit, no, so it's not this one, it's the A. Apply a little bit of uh, offset to, uh, from the center. And what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to select the bending, to, the bending knob here on the saxophone insert channel and I'm going to link to controller. Here, formula controller out and accept it it's more to the other side so I applied a positive uh, variation but I want a negative variation so that uh, the oscillation oscillation occurs on the left side not on the right side so I feel this is too much so I'm going to move it to 10 and maybe decrease the the, the amount and to 20 again okay I like this let me lower the saxophone a little bit So now it's time for us to uh, separate everything. So now we have everything named. So all these channels have uh, names. So what I'm going to do is go here to this pattern and right click and split by channel. And this will separate everything by channel and give the same name as we uh, gave to the instruments. And this is hi-hats and uh, channel one or pattern one is drums so now we have everything here and we can separate everything like this and now what I'm going to do I'm going to close the browser because we don't need it anymore and I'm just going to copy and paste and create let's say so this is the intro let's say the intro and now we have two parts or three parts just like this so I'm going to make a small intro and for the intro I don't want it wait and I don't want anything just the piano the electric piano and like this so this part here we have is the verse and this one here is the chorus uh, it's just a simplification because this is probably uh, a little bit less than uh, 8 bars or, or 16 bars but um, it's just for the sake of this tutorial so let's listen this drum unique or not this one maybe this one here make unique and I'm going to this part here this drum loop and I'm going to delete these uh, bounce snares so that we have just uh, just simple uh, snares and uh, kick loop and only this one here we have the see snare so in the in the hip in the chorus we can do everything like this to have a little bit more energy and as 
as you can see here this is this the first part is more focused on lyrics and the second part or the, the chorus sorry the chorus part is more focused on energy on the vibe of the chorus So this is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, if you are new here to this channel please subscribe and activate the notification so that you know when we upload new videos and uh, if you have any questions or suggestions just leave them, uh, just leave a comment below with a, with a question or suggestion. Uh, if you like this video leave a like, leave a big thumbs up and uh, if you want to support us, uh, please consider buying one of our products at dailybeats.pt or becoming a premium or exclusive member. And um, exclu ex uh, sorry, exclusive uh, member will have access to all the files and all this uh, project file. So all the drums and all the everything, all the melodies and all the arrangement. And um, we'll have also a, both premium and exclusive members will have also to the will have access to the video where I mix and master this beat. So if you want to check that them those out, I will have a link in the description. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.